Hi, I'm Hank Ayers with GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in fluid power training, troubleshooting, and reliability. Today I'd like to talk about troubleshooting a system that utilizes proportional valves. I spent over 25 years repairing proportional valves and servo valves, and one thing that I discovered in that time was that about 80% of the items that I got in for repair had absolutely nothing wrong with them. Now what does that tell us? That tells us that the way people troubleshoot these systems is by changing parts out. Generally not a good idea. It's never a good idea to just change a part out. We need to troubleshoot that item and make sure that it's bad before we remove it from the system. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, a proportional valve like this is very expensive. This type of valve right here cost about $5,000, maybe $6,000, and they go up from there. I recently did a consult where a proportional valve was changed that was not the problem in the system. That proportional valve cost $16,000 new. Very specialized valve, but I have seen them up to about $25,000, so we have a cost factor there. Another reason we won't, don't want to just inadvertently change parts like that is because anytime we take a hydraulic component off of a system, we're going to introduce contaminants into the system and we can very likely cause another problem or two simply by doing that because of contamination. So what, how do we troubleshoot one of these? One of the best tools that you can have when you're dealing with a proportional valve is some type of test box. Many manufacturers make these, They're, they all work very well. But you'll see uh, a, uh, some several displays on here. We have a supply voltage. Most of them will, well, all of them will have a power supply. Have a LVDT signal, which is actual spool position feedback, and a command signal. Now we can use this box in a couple of different ways. <clears throat> One way we can use it is to unplug the plant wiring and plug your box up to the valve, like so. Plug your plant wiring to the tester and then we have an external switch right here on this particular one. We put it in the external mode. Then that allows the machine controller to control the valve and we can watch what happens with all of our signals as far as our spool position feedback, command signal, power supply signal. Another way we can use this box is we can flip it into the internal mode and that way we can use this potentiometer to move the actuator in and out. Now generally, if your actuator moves normally, then the problem is normally not the proportional valve. You can have some intermittent problems with the valve that could be happening, but generally the proportional valve is okay. If the proportional valve operates normally with your test box, then we can move on to other things. We can check for the mechanical linkage in your actuator, possibly protect, uh, check for a bad position transducer and there are test boxes made for that also. But the first thing you should do when you have an issue, you think you have a bad proportional valve, is test that proportional valve with this box. And then you'll determine whether or not you have a bad proportional valve without taking the proportional valve off of the system. Now if you found this video helpful, we invite you to visit gpmhydraulic.com, our website, and there's several other helpful videos you might find on there. Also, you can click on the training tab at the top and you can learn a little bit more about our two-part training process.